Hello everyone, this is Danish from Job Skills Share. In this topic, I will talk about AI because it's such a hot topic. Everybody's talking about it and we have a lot of new members that actually ask us this question. Should I even start help desk when AI is replacing everything? Now, this is a question, right? Will AI replace IT jobs such as help desk or systems administration or cybersecurity? And I'm talking about the jobs that are normally we go to some sort of system and we have to do some sort of process to either troubleshoot or to do something for our clients or staff members. Will that be replaced? Now, I'm sure you have heard this. AI directly is not going to replace any of these jobs. Okay. And that's very simple. It's going to be the people who already started working on AI they are learning about AI, and then when there is a product available related to help desk, related to systems administration, related to cybersecurity, and the people who are already learning about it, they are going to replace you in the future. Very simple. I'm going to show you an example right here. You go to the Google and just type help desk ticketing systems with AI. Now, if you type help desk ticketing systems with AI, you're going to come across a bunch of ticketing systems. Now, they're saying try AI empowered ticketing systems. And then you're going to come across same with cybersecurity. And the product that you have already using uh, inside the company, or let's say you're new, you don't know these about, uh, about these products, tomorrow in the future, that is the future right? So what is the meaning of this? Are we going to just get this product and totally remove the help desk? No, that's not going to happen. Help desk is a very complex job. People don't know that. Once you start working in the company, you are going to be working with a lot of different things and it requires a, a very intelligent human to understand how processes are working, understand one individual, one uh, company, uh, you know, with another company, communication and also the, the the understanding the emotions of the people should i get this ticket assign it in such way so that i don't piss this person off and all that sort of stuff you know it's going to require a very very intelligent system to be able to replace something like that now of course it can replace a small company uh, owner let's say for example a one owner is using a dispatcher type of uh, you know employee that their job is just to assign bunch of tickets in a certain process where it's always a process it doesn't require too much of uh, you know uh, like you know uh, emotional or uh, intelligent thinking then this is where maybe that sort of things will be replaced but it, of course it will create another jobs uh, for uh, for that type of people who already know ai so the question is, is it going to really replace the jobs? No, not at all. I mean, that's why if you go to the Indeed.com and you look for the jobs, it's not going to have anything AI related to help desk or systems administration. And for some cybersecurity roles, they may have something because a lot of these type of products are already out there and they're doing its thing. But it's not going to be replacing you anytime soon. It's going to be the people who are going to learn about these ticketing system with AI uh, approach, then that that type of people will replace you if you're not going after and learning AI. Now, the question is, what type of learning should I be doing so I can retain my job? Just like you've been doing it forever. Remember when cloud uh, technologies uh, basically uh, came to the market and it started uh, people were heavily using, like, let's say, Google Cloud and Google Emails and Office 365 and uh, Exchange Online and many, many other products that went online. We told people that, listen, you need to really learn about these things with the basics or with the uh, traditional operating system level skills or hardware level skills. So then, you know, people can uh, not replace you. And also when you go to the job interviews and everything like that, you are actually up to the market standard. And, and the same person, if they learned about the new technologies and they learned uh, something that people were looking for, are already getting jobs left and right. It's the people that are actually not going uh, to, with the market, not going with the job description, and they're just stuck in the traditional learning method that universities and and how some of the you know certifications have been training us. Uh, basically, that's this is where the problem is. A lot of people find themselves not getting a jobs, and they're they're thinking. Uh, it's happening because of AI. It's not happening because of AI. It's because you are stuck in a very old school classic method that we have already, uh, you know, talked about it. And we talked about this many times. And this is why we exist, because we wanted to save uh, this uh, the people from this problem.
And that's where we are telling people that you need to learn. You need to learn something that is in future that's connecting with your jobs and AI uh, is already getting in. Uh, they're doing infiltration, I would say, into these products. So you need to just learn it the basic way. A, what is AI in terms of help desk? So you should start looking into AI related uh, ticketing systems and just play around with some sort of AI ticketing system because at the end of the day, you are going to be the one who's going to be managing the settings of that AI. And then when it comes to systems administration and at the people at the uh, more of this administration level, you got to understand the different type of AI products that are available so you can control the AI in your company. And it's actually happening right now as I speak. A lot of systems administrators are already getting involved with teams that if they want to use the co-pilot they want to use a straight up jet gpt different type of models so how do we control it because you know we don't want our employee and staff member to dump a healthcare data into a system and then it's out there in the public uh you know chats even if they say they they don't do anything but people can get to it so the thing is this that you are going to be involved and if you don't want to study about these things then they will replace you with a person who's going to come and say yes i already know how to manage ai See, it's very different. You're not going to say, I know how to do AI. I know I don't know how to do coding in AI. That's never been a thing in this type of jobs. You are never a coder. You are never a software developer. You were always helping them and making their job easy, making, making it secure, giving them better uh, solutions, giving them better platforms. Uh, and you are the one who are managing the security and controls um, into these systems so if you're not going to learn about from that perspective then yes ai is going to replace you the answer is yes ai is going to replace you because th that the, the people that are going to come with ai knowledge basically will say that i know ai and i'm going to replace you so in some way ai is replacing you if you don't learn about these things so i'm not trying to scare you but it's the same concept. Start little by little, little by little, because these job descriptions will change. You see, I'm making this video in 2024. If you take this video again in 2006, 7, or 8, this is where you're going to see a lot of job description matching with my uh, video. And that is where you're going to understand that things have changed. But at this point, you should just start learning about it. It's not a scare, uh, scaring you or anything like that. Just go through these products. And uh, for for new individuals, and they're getting into the IT jobs, it has absolutely nothing to do with IT jobs right now. Like, you know, if you want to get into help desk, it has nothing to do. You're going to still need to learn about the basic foundation of help desk, networking, how networking works, um, you know, how products for Office 365, Active Directory, all of these things are going to be the same. But when it comes to AI learning, you're just going to learn this in some sort of chapters, like a little by little. You're going to find it out, in, in, in even in our courses at some point, there will be one or two chapters with the, the old courses that have been happening for three, four, five years, the same method, the same technologies, the same foundational knowledge. It's going to be there. That's going to be your core knowledge. You cannot skip that. That's going to be there. That's Even AI is running on top of these networking devices. So how can you skip that? So that's the that's the reason I'm telling new people that don't be scared. Go through the same process. Don't really take about the care about AI. You're not becoming a developer. If you're getting into IT and you're getting into IT help desk, you're not going to do anything special in AI. You're going to find a chapter or two about AI and that's it. You're done with that. And then when you go to the company, you can talk about it that, yeah, I know some of the ticketing system tools and some of these tools, X, Y, Z, and I have already used AI. I know some of the models there. I know people are using it and I can help our users if they need some help at a very basic level. Uh, as a sysadmin, you can talk about how there are different models and I can manage it. I can implement something so you can do some projects in AI and implement it. And this way you can go back to the the, the jobs these days, even if they ask you, you will be prepared. Same for cybersecurity. So AI is not going to replace us directly, but the people who are going to be working in your area, and if they have AI knowledge and you don't do this, in a few years, they're going to replace you. Thank you.